Hello and namaste. My name is Brandon Foltz, and I teach statistics and other mathy things here on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and ring that bell for more. In this problem walkthrough video, we will continue our review of linear equations to prepare you for linear regression. I know your time is valuable, so let's go ahead and get to it. Svetlana, who is over here in the lower left, tutors to make extra money for college. For each tutoring session, she charges a one-time fee of $25 plus $15 per hour of tutoring. A linear equation that expresses the total amount of money Svetlana earns for each session she tutors is y equals 25 plus 15x. So this asks us, what are the independent and the dependent variables? What is the y-intercept? And what is the slope? And then we'll interpret those in sort of plain English. Well, let's first look at the structure of this equation. So what you're saying is that the amount of money she earns depends on the number of hours she tutors. So hear what I said there? Money depends on time. So what is our dependent variable? Well, that's the Y here. So the dependent variable represents the money she earns. What is the independent variable that could change from student to student? Well, that is the amount of time she puts in. So time. So in this example, what she does is a student wants to tutor with her and she says, fine. Well, my fee up front before we even start is $25. So we'll say she starts tutoring at noon and then for each hour, it's $15. So two hours will be another $15 and so on. So money is our dependent variable and time is the independent variable. Next, it asks us, what is the Y intercept? Well, remember the Y intercept is where X equals zero. So all we have to do here is substitute zero in where X is. So Y equals 25 plus 15 X, which is in this case is zero. So 15 times zero is zero. So Y equals 25. So the Y intercept is zero for X and 25 for Y. And that is where the line crosses the Y intercept. Now, what is the slope? So if you remember Y equals MX plus B, we can rewrite it as Y equals B plus MX. And in this case, our M, which is our slope is 15. For each one hour she tutors, she earns 15 more dollars. So time is the independent variable and money is the dependent variable. The Y intercept is 0 0.25 on a graph and the slope is 15 for $15 per hour. Okay. So that wraps up this video. Before you go, please check out some of the other content I have here on my channel. That being said, I appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me. I wish you all the best in your work and in your studies. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.